<laughs> All right. What is up, everybody? <laughs> you, go, you go do the intro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, what up, guys? Welcome back to a, another episode of the Unleashed Podcast. Um, I keep forgetting special edition of the Unleashed Podcast. I keep forgetting that. Uh, the This is part two of the deciphering the last dance Mm -hmm. uh me and gabe sit and look back at the last dance which is the jordan documentary that espn uh just concluded uh this past week yep yep um we're gonna we sit down and talk about actors that made appearance in the last dance and right now we are going to be doing episode four five six and seven yeah seven as well today um and so if you haven't checked out part one uh please i will put the link in the bio also i'm pretty sure it's in the related videos you can go back watch part one and algorithms baby come on right so (laughs) get the complete this is a three-part series so we will be uh coming out with another part uh later this week to end it off uh if you don't know our we last uh oh i'm sorry i'm your host chris (laughs) <laughs> and then that is other Chris. Host Chris, other host Gabe. Sorry, other host Chris. <laughs> Chris is, bro. There's a bunch of Chris's, bro. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Come um, on. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, what was what was I gonna say? Uh, if you know that we ended last our first part off on the Jordan three, um, mm-hmm. and in this whole series we are going to be ranking from one to fourteen. What are uh based off the shoes that we've given where we think they all, they all fit and our own personal rankings. Uh, I will put, I, do you remember your rankings? I'm going to, I'm going to add it to my list right now, yeah. bro. I remember, okay, I, think so. I, I remember my, I, I remember my ranking. Um, I have, we went over the Jordan we one, one, five. No, we didn't go over five. I'm sorry. No, one, 11, three. I feel like we're missing one and i think uh 13 also 13 13 as well yeah one three 11 fuck, i think i put 11 at five and 13 i left it at 13 yeah uh i had i remember i think i remember mine i had uh 11 at two uh 13 at four one at seven and what I three. had three. I don't remember where I had three. Well, now's your time, bro. Uh, I think I'll have I think I have three at five. I'll have three at five. All right. Yeah. So write yeah. that down, bro. Hold up. Now yeah. I got I'll just add it to my list then. Oh, so yeah, you put yeah, you, you yeah. put one at seven. One at seven. Um you put three at five. Three at five. Eleven at two. Eleven at two. And thirteen at f- at four. what? Four. Four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I think that's about I like that list. Yeah. All right. Um, but yeah. So after all this, we will have a complete list from one to fourteen. Our list, we will have that on the screen so you guys can see it and everything like that. Um, but we ended off at three. And mm-hmm. we're gonna start off with the Jordan Four. Hey, right, right into it. Yeah, Jordan um, Four. So I want to give you the floor first because um, you had a great takeaway between the three and the four, and the kind of like the 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 evolution of Jordan's career. Mm-hmm. So I want I kind of wanted you to give them that you know, give them that your breakdown of kind of how you see uh, going from three to four. Um, Especially in this documentary, but also just... I guess in the doc, uh, you really see, like, um, the three and the four, like, the glory days. Um, kind of like the uh, uh, the pinnacle of his solo career, almost. Um, so they, they there's, like, a lot of, uh, like, uh, even in the 80s, the threes and the fours, I would say, were very, like... Um, Ur- urban maybe i would mm. say like there's a lot of urban influence yeah 
you know, he was a MVP, a scoring champion, mm-hmm. a dunk champion. Mm-hmm. So, like, I think that's when shoes, Jordans in particular, are probably like, damn, I just want to wear those as, like, an off-court um, style piece now, you know? Yeah. He was rocking jewelry. Uh, so it just made it a lot more personable. Um, and then, obviously, that was, like, his first uh, playoff moment, really. Yeah. Well, well, he, he had playoff moments in yeah, the yeah, ones. Yeah. Yeah. But but the uh, the four, obviously, the shot uh, over Elo. Yeah. That was the one. That's, really. that, that stepped it up for him. Kind yeah. Of. Yeah. Um, I think they you can also kind of see like um they're kind of they're bulky shoes mm. but they're not at the same time like okay. they're they give more uh looks like comfort compared to their Jordan 1 maybe mm. um but they are bulkier but sleeker it's weird it's weird yeah especially those early releases like those 80s releases the overall material just looks thinner mm-hmm. But better, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, but I'm I'm a fan. I love Jordan Fours. Yeah, uh, I I can say as well. I'm a fan of the Jordan Fours. Um, the crazy thing about it is I've never owned a Jordan Four, which I'm actually surprised about. Um, I mm-hmm. kind of it's kind of been the same way I felt about uh, about the ones where I can mm-hmm. admire them from afar. Mm-hmm. Um, but the difference between the one and the four for me is I've always wanted a four. But mm-hmm. I've never, I've never found a good price for them, or they were in terrible condition. Like, if okay. I did find a good price for them, they would be. It was usually what I would end up finding is the white cement fours. Um, okay, I would find, I would get the, I would find those uh, fours, but they'd be in terrible condition. Every okay. single one, there was always something going on with them. Well, well, you just gotta bite the bullet at some yeah. point and buy DS, right? <laughs> yeah, and so, um, but I've always wanted the the bread fours. Like that was always a shoe that I've always wanted. Mm-hmm. Um, and I never, you know, to this day, like, I think, I think more apparently now that I'm an adult and, you know, am supporting myself, my, my, my sneaker habit, uh, mm-hmm. I want to, I want to be able to get a pair. So, mm-hmm. hopefully, you know, that happens at some point. Uh, the cool, the, the cool gray fours that, uh, that released. What, this year. This it was this no, year. last year. No, last year. Last year? No, last year. Towards yeah, 2019. Year. Yeah. yeah. Um, those are also a, a shoe that I really, um, I really mm-hmm. like just, you know, just appearance wise. Um, but yeah, I, I think everything you said, like just from you and you, I think you see it like in, I think the culture kind of, I think the three is kind of what, like granted, every other shoe we've talked about has its own significance in the culture itself and in Jordan's career, like there's always there's a moment in Jordan's career for every shoe, pretty mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think the three was one of those that you see things like get put on the scene, and then the next thing comes on. It's like okay, that's that's what is going to keep you there. Like that's what's going to get the people to to stay. Okay. And I think the three was one of those where, yeah, like you said, like, you know, having the, the jewelry and doing the dunk contest, having the MVP, all that stuff. And then everybody's like, oh, you know, Jordan, Jordan, everybody knew Jordan was the truth already, but that was, and then you come to the four <laughs> mm-hmm. and it's even in the documentary, he, he mentions like about going up against Cleveland, like every writer had Cleveland beating them. Yeah. And the, 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 um, the clip where they say that uh, before game seven, mm-hmm. uh, Jordan goes up to eat. He goes, I, um, he's, uh, I proved you I, wrong. Yeah. I proved you wrong. Yeah. And then, uh, the last, uh, Sam Smith was the last one that. Uh, I'm going to take care of you tonight. I'll take you care of you tonight. And yeah. goes, the the shot happens and they, they end up uh, beating the, the, uh, the Cavs, the Cavs. To, uh, to go to the next round. And I think that's kind of, you know, a foothold in his career of like, okay, he's now it's not a one and done kind of thing where he goes to the first round, gets gets kicked out. And he's uh, he elevated. Yeah, he elevated figuratively and literally because you know that shot was beautiful. But uh, I think it's same with the the shoe itself. The three is okay. We know Jordan's good. What else can you do for us? And then the four comes and it's like, okay, yeah, we're it, it, we're on board. It's it's. Cool that you can make that association, mm-hmm. 
because that is also um, when they uh, implemented the Jumpman logo, the three yeah. and the four, mm -hmm. well, the three going forward. Yeah. Um, so, like, not only are you able to look at the shoe and place it on a timeline and give it a moment, mm -hmm. you're all you're you're also now able to say. That's also when the Jordan logo was introduced, and now you have another visual that you can associate with that, which, um, I mean, it, I guess all things line up for a reason, right? Yeah, that, that, everything kind of worked out in his favor. In that yeah, sense. for like, real. Like, that was, that, that free throw line dunk is what helped push everything further, pretty much for him and mm -hmm. culture itself so for us as well growing up and then finally having the shoes to be able to like you know to which see and live with three and four were like some of my holy grails growing up bro mm -hmm. like uh 99 uh brad fours mm -hmm. 2001 black cement threes yeah those were arguably my grail of all grails those in uh 2000 uh black some i mean black metallic fives mm -hmm. which i've only ever referred to them as metallic fives yeah but I feel like now we ha associated, we created like this sub uh, white metallic, black metallic. Yeah. Um, but that wasn't the case growing up. Metallic was only the black colorway. Yeah. Um, that, and I, that's how I've always known it. Like, I've yeah. always known it. It's just the black, uh, I mean, just uh, the, the metallic black, fives. Metallic fives. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think that's, I, 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 like, and the crazy thing is, like, I never, growing like and you know as you know and like a lot of people uh, that know me you know like mm -hmm. i love jordans like that was the only shoe i rocked but for some reason there were certain jordans that i just couldn't see myself putting on and the mm -hmm. fours even though i could see myself putting them on i just never could find i never could find a pair when i was younger and then as i got older it just never like you know of course the value just went through the roof so it was kind of hard for me to get a um get a pair to the point where i was just like i'm good if i don't own a pair I hope I do, but at some point I was like, mm, like it's not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stress myself out trying to find a pair because every time I do, like you know, it'll always be like a lazy search on eBay or something like that where I'll just go. Mm. Oh no! You missed a. You missed a bid. Mm. Oh. So, ladies and gentlemen, Gay probably got sniped on eBay today, uh, and it probably wasn't even a snipe. They probably came at him with a knife. Like it wasn't even, they didn't even need to, to sneak oh. it. They probably just came up to him and said, Hey, I outbid you today. And then. Damn, you like, guys are, you guys are literally, literally catching and recording <laughs> a missed auction on eBay. This is a genuine reaction, people. This is not fake. Like, oh, I'm so hurt. He got <laughs> melee. So not, I was like, when I was was it? I was following these shoes for about three days now, mm -hmm. and when I first got home, before I started setting up, it was fifteen minutes left, and I was like, "Okay, cool, I got this. I'm home. I'm not gonna miss it. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna bid on my on my desktop instead of my phone." Mm -hmm. Slipped my mind, and then so it was a it was a pair of a uh, white uh, Melvins SBs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was gonna restore them, so they're really yellowed. But the shoe itself is probably like an eight out of ten. How much? Did, how much they uh they sell for? They sold for two sixty, mm. which, oh man, like there's so much character in this worn ass shoe. I'm hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's look, like it would have been a hella dope come up, and to restore that, it would have been nice. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <sighs> I'm hurt. All right, whatever. For the, whatever, for the bro. Podcast. He loves whatever. Our shoe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's I'm, all good, man. You know, I'll just buy a DS for like eight hundred dollars. It's yeah. all good. Pocket change. Yeah. Whatever. We're, 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 we're do have you seen our podcast? We're doing well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you <laughs> this, man, the money? Y'all notice a new setup? I'm in my mansion right now. This, the money this is, is the coming in. Wow. Yeah, you know. So, I'm uh, actually in his basement right now, guys. You guys don't even know this, basement. but <laughs> oh, I'm <God>. actually downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, like, so, like, I, like, I always like did lazy searches for that shoe and always have been disappointed. So I kind of just like, eh, 
Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't. I don't. I'm not mm-hmm. gonna. I'm not gonna. Even now something. with like all the retros, you wouldn't. Yeah. You wouldn't. Well, I think it's for like even now with all the retros, like it's some like Jordan has a bad habit of dropping stuff when I'm going through something. Mm-hmm. So like especially when it's something I want, it's like oh okay, and then it's like oh no bills or nah you you got you gotta you gotta handle this first, and so then it's like all right, well I'll just let it. I'll let it slide. And I'll catch it on the. I'll catch you on the rebound, Jack. But I never catch on the rebound. no rebounds. rebounds, yep. rebounds. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but I get your Rodman skills up, bro. You know, like I'm, I'm not. I'm like I'm. I'm. I'm fumbling off my fingers out of bounds. You know, when it could have been hey, up I, all regardless. I, but I know. seen those recordings of you at the gym by Jeremy. All right. <laughs> what recordings? <laughs> like when Jeremy, you and your layups, and Jeremy talking about you could build a house with your bricks. He literally just reposted yeah, that like okay. last week. <laughs> okay, so I want to tell y'all. So I don't know how many people have seen that video, but let me tell you this: I hadn't touched a basketball in about nine months. Get ahead of it. Get ahead no, of I'm it. Get Chris. ahead of it. Do I'm, it. I'm gonna get ahead of it. I haven't touched a basketball in nine months. Touch a basketball. Let's not even talk about workout. I hadn't worked out in, I would say, at that point, like maybe a year and a half. So mm-hmm. I was just. I was I was ass like I was looking ridiculous. I seen the video and I was like, yo, I look. First of all, I look round as hell. Let's start there. Secondly, yo, I was just like, yo, is the rim taller? Like I don't remember. I don't remember being this hard. The to new get regulations. <laughs> like I, at one point, I sit there like, hold on. Like I got crossed that night too. Like some kid like that was like nineteen. Sounds <sighs> sounds accurate. He, he took my ankles away from me. Um, but yeah, but. I'm, I'm working back at it. I've I, again. I haven't been to a gym. I have now. I haven't been to a basketball court in six months now. So kind of just started. Back nothing, up. Nothing's changed. Yeah. Nothing's changed since that you know video. What, you know what it is? Is because I'm. There's not really any easy access to a gym from yeah. where I'm at. Ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like playing ball alone. Like Jeremy, they play out of high school, so it's like. But when they play, I'm just like. I don't feel like driving all the way down there. Like, like, I, like if I was already down there, I would love playing because they play for like four or five hours, and I love that shit. Yeah. But I don't want to go, and then I don't want to go to twenty four because twenty four is like just to play one game. It takes maybe forty five minutes, and I, I've as I've gotten older, I've had less patience waiting, mm-hmm. especially because half the time it's people arguing about who had next, and I'm like, well, let's not do this. So I'm trying to figure out, like, I'm trying to find a way. Like, I need to get back at some rec league games and see mm-hmm. if i can get you know uh get back get back to my old my old ways you know so i i'm not embarrassing myself out here on social there, media there there is no those old ways are long gone bro nah. let's let's just stick to the podcast bro <laughs> let's, just, on these knees. let's just stick to I the podcast so wrong actually <laughs> i got plenty of miles on these knees <laughs> blooper uh anyways um but yeah so uh, Air Jordan Four. Where, Air Jordan Four. Where do you rank Air Jordan Four in your top fourteen? Hmm. Uh, the four might be. So I have three. I have three. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the four will go down to. Oh, I think if I remember correctly, I said yesterday that. Uh, the three was at three, but it only might move because of another shoe. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I think I was referring to the fours. Okay. But now that I'm thinking even like more so, I think I'm dropping the four down to like, I'm going to go with six. Okay. Yeah. Six. Yeah, I'm going to place the four at six. Okay. Uh, I have the four, even though I don't own a pair. Yeah, I have. I think I'm. I four think I also have the four at six, six as well. Six. All right, I recorded that. My first pair of fours were military blue. Mm. Um, completely sold out online, and I went to Full Locker down in Colorado before mm-hmm. when it used to be by T-Mobile mm-hmm. and Neil Thirty Nine. Mm-hmm. Um, I just walked in and they were there and I copped. That was cool. That was dope. Yeah, it was like the same day. It was like 2 p.m. or whatever. Of course, it was a Blue Jordan, so people didn't buy Blue Jordans yeah. back then. Who would buy Blue Jordans? He didn't yeah, buy Blue. 
Yeah, come on. Um, I yeah, I think I would also have my four at the six as well. Okay, like I think that's where I would kind of I would sit it probably because, um, look, thinking about my list and that, that might be that might be a loose six, so don't hold me to that. But for right now, I have it at six because I think there might be a shoe that might push it down. Yeah, I'm a visual person, bro. I need yeah. little cutouts to see where exactly I'm at. Yeah. Get a nice little board or something like that. You know? Exactly. <laughs> uh, but um, I think I, what I'm, yeah, four. Four at six, I'm going to sit with, I think. Okay. Um, uh, best four colorway. Best. Oof. It'd be between... It'd be between the, it'd probably be between the bread, the bread for or the pure money. Ooh, pure money. Yeah, I, 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 something about that I just love. Damn. Uh, I guess the uh, the popular opinion would be the the bread fours. Yeah. The, pl- the playoff fours. Yeah. yeah. Um, but my favorite four might be. It might be the lightnings, bro. Mm, okay. Either that or the or the tour yellows. Okay. I'm just be, I'm just trying to be different, bro. Yeah, I feel you. You know, I mean, I love bread fours, and that's like the obvious choice. But there's so many four colorways. Like, there, when you sit here and think about it, there's actually a lot more than 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 come to mind. And they just dropped three this uh what last month. The, yeah, like, the white with purple. The like I guess like. They, the, they call I guess, metallics? yeah, I think so. Purple metallic, red metallic. There's an orange, and orange. then there's a green. Yeah, and then uh, they dropped the mushrooms last year. Mm-hmm. Those are which were fire. Those are uh, beautiful. There's sand fours. If you remember the sand fours, the girl, the woman's release. Yeah, uh, those also came out with the militaries. Um, uh, fire red fours, uh, DB fours. Yeah, the, cool gray. They did the what the fours. What the fours. What the fours. They have those Rasta fours from uh, Do the Right Thing the right inspired. Thing. Uh, we, didn't even, a lot. we didn't even talk into that. Like we didn't even talk like the fours have such so many like moments for them. Yeah. Off the court as well. Like yeah. you do the right thing. Um, yeah. You know, seeing Phil Jackson, like you mentioned it. Uh, oh, true, true. On the phone, like Phil Jackson having. The fours yeah, and, uh, and yeah. You see a lot of him in fours. Um, uh, not so much other Jordans, but the fours. There's yeah. a lot of all of that. Like uh, Spike, Spike Lee, and they're like their Mars Blackman. Yeah, like those all. Like there's so many moments off the court when it comes to fours that mm-hmm. you, know, you kind of you forget, and then now you have like Travis Scott with his fours and uh, true, and you uh, you see the was it the off white fours that are possibly uh, if those drop i need i need them bro yeah like you see some like i want to go on record <laughs> i have yet to win any major release in the last two years maybe maybe three jeremy jeremy got out his slump so i yeah, what did he slump. get i forgot i forgot but he like yeah he, he was like happy on twitter about it was it right, the fear right. of gods i don't think that was something that he won because i think i think, I think he, he paid market for that yeah. But not market, but he came up. Yeah, um, there was something he got on sneakers that that he that I think he uh, he got and he was happy about. I can't remember though. Nothing but L's, yo. I haven't gotten anything, so please give me some retail love, Nike. I feel like twenty twenty should be your year at some point. Dude, but, we're five months in and I've gotten all L's, but dude. Like twenty twenty has been so bad. I get that, shit, dude. You know. You gotta probably mm-hmm. get a, a win some at some point. I, I All so. I wanted was the off white fives. They couldn't give it to me. Well, and, yeah. and now and now and now they're like at eight hundred, and I should probably buy them before they hit a thousand. Probably should. <laughs> Come on, use that uh, use that podcast money. Let's move on to the next shoe, man. <laughs> One shoe that I can afford, bro. Is it is it a shoe you can afford? Are you sure? Oh shit! They, what is uh, it? Which, all right, so we're moving on to Jordan Fives. Uh, I, I think you've already this is my placeholder. Yeah, my placeholder for today. Today's today. Yeah. Uh, the 
you already spoke on a little bit uh part one so yeah. i'm gonna let you start it off because uh, you kind of spilled the beans on your top four thing <clears throat> with the fives jordan yeah. five is my favorite jordan my favorite model okay yeah um so to tie back to the uh to the last dance uh there's a couple scenes of jordan when he's playing your Detroit Pistons. Detroit uh, and so I misspoke in the first part. Um, but in the, the Jordan rule, he was wearing uh, the, the metallic fives. Uh, there's a couple scenes of him getting the brake speed off of him, and he's wearing them. So um, I think... It, it, <laughs> Get again, the brake speed off of him. <laughs> it's, it's more... The, every shoe doesn't have like a like superior like five-minute clip of, yeah. about that we are picking, but mm-hmm. the fives are also the reason why I picked the fives is because in episode five, they focus in on the rise of the Jordan and his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, contract with Nike and the endorsements mm-hmm. of the Jordan brand and the, you know, the, I think you can, the My bad. Man, no, you're good. Should be the, able to. the jump man logo and you see like like you start seeing how heavily influenced like hollywood in a sense mm-hmm. the the fives were able to get marketed like it looked like nike had kind of was like this is the shoe that we're going to push we're going to put a lot of marketing money into and again when all this happened i was a kid so i have I no idea <laughs> uh what any of the any of this really any of this really like how this shaped the culture so i'm not going to speak on the culture i'm just going to go off of what was told to me in the Mm -hmm. documentary um and then i want to take it to our experiences with the five i don't want to try to make up some you know how we think the culture was moved by the fives i'm just saying advertisers were jumping out uh you the heavy the influence the heavy influence on like with spike lee in the fives as well as nike you know and uh another moment my bad that just came to mind Mm. is uh the fives are heavily tied in with the fresh prince of bel-air true um like heavy like we have great fives and uh bel-air fives the fire oh oh oh, and even the metallics yeah Um, just just he wore all those in the show with no laces i mean he has the metallics on in the in the intro song yeah yeah you know like that it's I think I think is it first episode, second yeah. episode. He has very one? first episode. When he's uh, staple, when he, he's dancing, he's stapling the Malcolm X uh, mm-hmm. poster to his wall. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, it, they're like Hollywood. Like you could see, like I of course you know again the first was Bella was in a time when I was a kid, so I really didn't you know understand all that. But you could tell just based off of like black culture like black culture really took over with the Jordan brand and so but also Hollywood kind of took note of this is you know this is real um but I want you to kind of give your thoughts on the Jordan 5 and like what they mean to you um to be honest I don't even know how it became my favorite model um like I mentioned earlier yeah it was one of my grails uh 2000 black Metallic fives, metallic fives, with the Nike Air. Yeah. Um, I owned, I owned the 2006 retro. I owned it twice in high school and middle school. Um, I, I really, I really don't know what it is about this shoe that I like so much. Uh, it's just a dope, dope, dope yeah. shoe. Like it's just really dope. I mean it. it it's a it's a it's a bulkier model. Yeah. Um you got the fighter jet hits right here. Yeah. Um yeah, clear sole, clear netting. Um it's surprisingly comfortable. Uh you got the air mac or air bubble. Um it's just a fire shoe, bro. Yeah. Just it's just it's just the one there's so many Jordans, the one of them has to speak to you and this one was mine, you know? Yeah. It was just what it was. Uh, I think the same for me. Uh I I I we I tell the story in a previous uh episode but about the olive fives that dropped uh-huh. in uh 07, 06, 06, 06, 07? yeah um because I remember I was in high school and I remember 07. It was, yeah. I think it was 07, yeah. Yeah it was um I think I was sophomore in high school. So yeah. Um and 
the olive fires are going to drop and at the time i had no idea what like a limited drop was anything like that ls lifestyle yeah yeah and so i i was i was so like it was i thought like oh i can go to foot action like you know the foot action on uh orange grove and uh fair oaks yeah like that was that i was like i can just go there after school they'll probably be there and i begged my mom like yo can i you know can i get money to you know go to get the shoe i was gonna catch the bus and everything and uh they they uh they sell out completely like super fast like i tell my mom and they i remember she called me at like lunch or something like that Mm -hmm. like shout out to my mom let's start there shout out to my mom for like like really like trying like i was Mm -hmm. she really tried and i tell the story of she goes and tries to find them they're not they're nowhere to be found because you know they they sold out immediately like everybody wanted them and she gets me the fire red fives Mm -hmm. she ends up finding them somewhere don't know where to this day i don't think she remembers where she got them from but she she went to a couple stores and finds the fire red fives ends up getting them for me and i'm like they're not the olive. They're not the olive fives. <laughs> like I, was, I was so like, I was so like, it, it ain't it. Yeah. Like, and I, like she, at, at some point, I think like it was at some point later that week, or I think like as the weeks went on, it was very soon though, but she finds them like on her own. Like she doesn't do it to like, you know, at that same day, but she finds them. And I remember I looked at it and I was like, they're not the olive fives though. Like I was so hurt. Like I was just like, for me, it just kind of like, eh. And I remember I was like, no, I'm ungrateful. You're scumbag, bro. Yeah, I was ungrateful. Because my I fire red fives, I wore those to the ground. Uh, I don't remember how many times I wore I don't think I wore them that much. I wore them to the ground. And then um, I remember specifically one day I was running in eighth grade. And I was running down, down the steps or up the steps. I don't really remember. And I scuffed the tote box mm. on, on the steps. They're like right, right here. Yeah. And then, and then after that day, they became beaters, and <laughs> and it's crazy because like I've always had that mentality, like oh well, it's a beater now, I'm yeah. just gonna wear it. Like that's so weird. Now I think about it, yeah, yeah. that's literally what happens now. If I get a scratch, well, fuck yep, it. The, now they're beaters. my everyday. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, yeah, that's I. I think for like for me, like I um the one I think the grape fives mm-hmm. were probably one of the colorways that stand out to me. Um, oh, the metallic sure. fives are my like are are my favorite, but I think the grape fives are like a close second for mm-hmm. me because I don't know what it was like. I'm like I like I like the color purple. Like let's start there. Like I just love the color purple, but I also love the way they they put that shoe together with the like white, black, purple, the little turquoise mm-hmm. um, on the Jordan logos like that. But like I the the grape fires were probably one shoe that I think I, when I got them, I didn't appreciate them when I had them mm-hmm. and I wish I did. And I'm probably thinking now I probably might find, try to find a pair of grape fires now, mm-hmm. but that shoe was great. Like, even though like, like I'm not like a big five person, that shoe is just, I didn't have it when crazy. Uh, that was one of the shoes I got after the fact. Um, mm-hmm. If I remember correctly, uh, I know I got them after high school. So the shoe would be like seven years old when I bought it. Yeah. It was the 06 retro. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember I bought off some guy and he had them all ziplocked and everything. Um, But I never wore them and I ended up getting, getting rid of them later. But I've been through like two, three, four or four pairs of grapes. Um, black grapes, I've never owned, but I've always wanted. Yeah. Uh, I really like the the Fresh Prince uh, Retro with the no laces. Mm-hmm. Uh, that one was weird, but I liked it. Yeah. Uh, the gold friends and family grapes, I don't like at all. I think they're ugly because <laughs> they're satin. Yeah. No, thank you. Um, but yeah, dude, I love them all. Supreme, yeah. Supreme Fives, love yeah. them. Um, I, the, uh, the, the ones that, I uh, the, I have the, uh, 2001, so one, right? Or Which, what color? Metallic, metallic cards. With, uh, Nike Air? Yeah. 
two thousand. Yeah, I think I have I have, I have those, and I got those off uh, off of Ben, a uh, friend of the show. Yeah, and I remember I wore them, and he was like, "I might have to, I might have to get those back from you." And I was like, "Nah, <laughs> not gonna happen." I know <laughs> refund, no, son. Nah, this, nah, these are these are mine. Um, no, though I I love that shoe, and so. I think. Oh, let's let's. I'll, I have a perfect segue. But where do you rank your fives? One. <laughs> one. 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 Okay. So, uh, and then favorite colorway out of them? Metallics. Metallics. Okay. Uh, for me, I rank the five at. Oh, actually, see this. This is the issue. Um. Well, nah. Okay, so unprecedented. I'm gonna I'm gonna bump the Air Jordan one from seven and move it to eight. To oh wow! Fives at seven. Okay. Yeah. Let me. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna this. Do All right. Yeah, because I, I don't want to move the I don't want to move the fours because that's not where I feel like uh, the fours are good at six right now. The um, if I could own any. Five, mm-hmm. um, it would be uh, either T twenty threes Tokyo's mm-hmm. or uh, Oregon fives, the green ones. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah those, those two, or, the green Oregon fives are really cool. Those two uh, are, yeah. For me, it would still be the olive. Fives. <laughs> I I've never gotten them. Um, yeah. I kind of I think at well at that at that point I gave up, like because I think about now, like I never thought about them for the rest of my high school year mm-hmm. really um like they were they kept you know popping in my mind but like i never really thought about them but as i've gotten older i've always like that was the one show i felt like got away the uh the homie jose he actually bought his pair of olive fives off of some guy on craigslist for like 40 bucks mm. some older white guy i remember i went with him to go pick him up no box or nothing just the shoes 40 bucks Lucky ass. That's, I hope. I hope. I, I hope. I. I hope. Well, I, I hope that twenty twenty is good to me. Craigslist, but those Craigslist deals, they don't. They're not around anymore. Like yeah, no, no. Craig, Craigslist before offer up and StockX and Go and all them would have crazy, crazy deals. Even, but even eBay, like you, like the people. Clear oh, eBay, their, their eBay always had. eBay has always been there though. That's like so. I'm saying like. Before offer before there was other medians to to eBay, mm-hmm. it was kind of just Craigslist, really. Yeah, true. Um, or like forum, Hitog, Soul Collector, and all that. Mm-hmm. But Craigslist had deals, yo. I loved it. I used to always be scared of Craigslist because I just always felt like I was gonna get screwed. This guy. So yeah, always... that's because uh. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know how to tell you that, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was just always me. I just always felt some type of way. But as I got older, and I started like there was a lot of stuff I got from Craigslist that I yeah. like. It kind of like like my my way of feeling towards Craigslist changed. Mm-hmm. But when I was a kid, I was like so like when I was young, I was so like worried that I was gonna get like that was gonna get me into a sex trafficking. Wow. Like I was like, yo, they're gonna kidnap me. Yo, I like, never once thought about any of that, dude, bro. I was like, yo, they're gonna, cause I seen, I heard so many horror stories of like, I don't want to get, I don't want to get robbed for my, for my shoes. Like, and this is right, this is like in the height of like people, you know, getting hurt for their shoes. It's like that. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want to end up like going somewhere and meeting somebody and then them, you know, sticking me up and taking the money and the shoes and now I have nothing. Kind now of you're thing. dead as hell. You know, like I was like, even when I bought my uh, LeBron. Um, LeBron Giants. My LeBron All Star Nines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the All Star Nines. The uh, the orange ones. Yeah. yeah, I I met some dude from the Big uh, Bangs. Come on, bro. Yeah, Big Bangs. Sorry. Uh, I, oh, I'm hurt. I sold mine. I uh, I met some dude uh, in uh, Rialto, mm-hmm. and I was living in Pasadena at the time. And I met some dude in Rialto for him. Met him off of the Facebook groups, mm-hmm. and. At this time, this was like my first like week on the Facebook groups, and I was so mm-hmm. like scared of like you know like every because every other post was this yo where scammer. I hope dude's... I hope our our people are listening and realizing that Chris is not from the hood. Chris did I not have the, the Bro, Chris did I not have up. those upbringings. 
Because look at him, hood, so I, I rattled. Hood, but I knew for a fact I'm not about to get scammed because I'm because I look always did things by myself. Look at him. Look like him. that was a thing. Look at him. Think about it. <laughs> now, think about it. I went. I used to do things by myself. So every time I would go to these oh, meetups, man. every single every other post on the Facebook group was this dude's a scammer or he robbed me or blah blah blah. And this. So is then not, why did you even do work with like well what? Because I got bored. Like I got yeah. Like, so then. It, 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 you got to understand, like my, my thought process was, Bro. was, all right, we'll figure out some way to have backup. So sometimes Mike would roll with me to get shoes because I was just like, yo, if shit pops off, you know, and then, but he, he wanted to be in a parking lot. And, and I remember I stand outside, I have the money in my, in my pocket and he doesn't get out. And I'm like, okay, uh huh, like, are you going to get out? He's just sitting in the car. And I'm like, yo, like. All right, what the fuck's going on? Like, don't don't bullshit me. And so he's, I'm texting it like, yo, I'm standing outside the car. Is this you and this some red? I think it was like a red uh-huh. Honda or something like that. And he's like, he's like, yeah, give me a second. But I'm like, I can see you. <laughs> like, like, he's not yeah. doing anything. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, this dude is like, so I, I at the time I used to carry a knife with me, so I go to the car, grab the knife, put it in my pocket. Like, all right, <laughs> just in case. I mean, so, if you're going to carry a knife, shouldn't you just have it with you already? You're not, already losing, bro. Well, I keep I keep it in the center console because I always went places where I couldn't have the knife on my key. Like, I just carried it on my keychain. And then... You're already to, losing, I family. Off, so I just kept you had to go back console. for it. Had to go back for it. Yeah, if you would have popped off right then there, it would have been... There's over. no point to carry yeah. a knife then if you had to go back for it. But, like, I couldn't I couldn't take it with me on my keychain. Like, people always had me take it off. Yeah, so. but in that moment, you could have taken it with you. Well, I kind of forgot that I had it on me yeah. at that point. Split it. I don't know, dude. I can't tell from there. Um, I got over here cooking lessons. I, it looks Are like it. Are you the chef? No, my little sister's trying to be. And she's making sure that she's asking me if she cooked her food right. Mm. It looks like you. Yeah. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, but anyways, like he sits there, he comes out, finally comes out, and I uh, uh, go. If you hear, like, if you hear off screen throwing up, it's because she didn't cook it right, and she's gonna be yakking. But you said it's, you said it looks good. So hey, yo, do you see my glasses? Are they on? No, they is not. So hey, why, aren't, <laughs> yeah, why aren't you wearing your glasses? You because like, there's hella glare on them. Like these are my cheap frames. So you see that? Mm. Yeah. So oh, that's why I yeah. took them off. Like I realized that during the first episode. Mm-hmm. See? Oh, okay. Look at you trying to be professional. Yeah. yeah look at and you. you know, I don't want to. I don't want to bring out the other glasses. Cause, you oh know, yeah, I thought that that's what you were gonna bring out, but nah, you know, nah. you don't want you don't like you don't want to show off that podcast money. Nah, man, those are on the safe, bro. You you don't want to. You know, yeah, I just want y'all to know, like y'all keep hearing this. We're making a lot of money. Just letting y'all know, like a lot. Of tax money. evasion is where it's at, you guys. Man, we ain't taxes. We ain't paying taxes. Like taxes, you know? man. Like, offshore accounts. Yeah, names of people that you don't even know. Yeah, people that if we told you the names, they will pop up at your front door now. Since you heard their name, mm-hmm. they will probably take you out. Social but. securities of people that haven't been on this planet for more than thirty years. Chris is not even my first name. I'm in the basement. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> you're ducking out for some. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. Down in a bunker somewhere. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Nah, uh, but yeah, so, uh, I already we already put where our fives are, right? Yes, yes. Okay, sorry. So, uh, my segue. Ooh, okay. So, my segue. The way I got my metallic fives uh, from Ben was I, I gave, I traded him for my, as known now, the Raptor 7s. But I learned that they were originally called the Charcoal 7s. Did not know that. Yeah, oh, no. I, I really yeah. did not know that. That was something it, I, I literally did not know. They um, didn't have that name until the 2004 okay. retro. Yeah. Oh, oh, the uh, the not the the grayish ones, the black ones. Yeah, the yeah. the actual. I yeah. think it might even be like 2002 retro. Mm-hmm. I don't really remember, but it wasn't until then that they called them Raptors. Mm. Yeah, I didn't know that, and I I was like, oh, that's good to know. And come to find, like, it was like, yeah, he like wore them, you know. He was wearing them like in the playoffs, just like that, and all that stuff. So it was, it was had no bearing against the Raptors at all. It was just people assume baseball the color, the color scheme. That was just a Raptors, you know, whatever. But anyways, um, 
so them gave my Raptors for them top fives, which segue, terrible segue, but segues into our next one, George Sevens. Uh in Last Dance, they go to they talk about the dream team and the mm-hmm. famous dream team uh with him, Magic Larry, like John Stockton, um Carl um, Malone. Carl Malone. All, Pippin. All, huh? Pippin. Pippin, yeah. And so, you know, the famous picture of him and Magic laughing and uh Jordan's wearing the, the Olympic sevens. Mm-hmm. He wears them through the Olympics. Uh I think do you think that's one of the most memorable colorways for the sevens? Oh yeah, without a so, doubt, bro. Yeah, I, I'm just asking for conversation wise. I don't, I don't like. I, no, without I, without a doubt, I, I think so. Um, because of that, uh, I would say those and um, the Raptor sevens, uh, okay. Cardinal sevens. I don't. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, what other OG colorway is there? That's it, right? There's only those three. Uh, oh, and the hairs. The hairs. Oh yeah, the hairs are fire. Hairs, yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, they're they're getting a, um they're getting a what you call it? They're even getting a um. It just has nothing to do with, but the 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 hair sixes are coming out this year, which. Yeah, I want those. those look I good. want those. Hell. Yeah. I was yeah. at first. I wasn't on board, but they're actually dope as hell. Actually, no, they're right. fire. Um, no, yeah. So uh, they talk about the dream team and like you know you you guys know all the stories of the dream team and uh the infamous one-on-one that uh magic and jordan go uh do that they the greatest s- basketball game that never was yeah because yeah. I, I forgot it was a practice game it was all of them all of them and they they, they went back and forth and like ev- like everybody has a different way of how the, like not a different way how the story goes but like their their interpretation of that yeah. game alone yes yeah, i mean that's all we got you know because it, it was just a practice of of basketball at that time going like really kind of just going at it um because at that time the cameras weren't allowed in for that practice so mm-hmm. nobody got to see actual footage of it um but yeah so jordan sevens um i think for me the olympic sevens are my favorite uh my favorite uh seven colorway mm-hmm. for the sevens uh the cardinal the cardinal sevens are my very close second and i say that like literally like it's a close second because both of them for me like are kind of one and two bro charcoal bordy bordeaux olympic okay and then uh in that order yeah in that order okay but i might have the hairs over the olympics okay I don't There's know. Over Olympics. Oh, okay. But but for sure, for sure, the Cardinals the last. <laughs> the Cardinals Cardinal, the last. Car- Cardinals in last place, and then the Charcoals first place. Everything in the middle can kind of just fall wherever. Go back real far. Yeah. Uh, you do. You do the Cardinals. My, so my bad, bro. I just Card- and it's I, I love the Cardinals. Cardinal sevens were my first sevens, but. They were my only my first sevens because no one else wanted them, yeah. and that's all I could get my hands on. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, yeah, because a lot. I think a lot of people don't feel like the Cardinals are a good looking. It's just a weird uh, looking back on it. They're real. I, for some reason, I don't know if it's if it's if people notice it, but they they fit differently than the other sevens. No all facts. They fit differently. Like the tongue feels different. The the uh. The midsole looks completely different. Um, is it's just I it's never just looked a, it up. Is that is that like a is was that something that they purposely was it like or was it just that's just how I it have no out? idea. But the fact that you pointed that out as I was thinking it means I'm not the only one. Like, yeah, I, I every time I put them on, I see them and they're still they always look. They, they just like they just look more. Boxy. I think it's, I think it's also. The leather on those has always been different. Always, yeah. It just it just looks a little bit more like thicker. It doesn't feel thicker per se. It doesn't feel more quality, mm-hmm. but it just looks thicker. It looks more like a, a cloud of leather, like puffy leather. It's yeah, weird. they definitely they yeah because the Olympic sevens are the the leather is a lot thinner than yeah. the Cardinal, and I think for I don't know what it is like. I think it's also the way that they visually, when you look at it, all the other ones are 
either all black or all white. But mm. that one has a white upper and a black sole. Yeah. So you just look at it and you're like, what? It just looks what? off. Yeah. Built wise, like it just looks yeah. different. I, I wonder if, um, I wonder if the quality of it was meant to be different. Um, I want like could I, be like I wonder if they were like there was a specific reason why they did a diff. They probably did a different. I'm pretty sure there has to be a backstory if that's the case. Because if if you're the, if you're the only one, if you're somebody else that notices that it was a different looking shoe, that there must have to be a backstory on why they did the material they, they did for that shoe. That colorway just it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't see where it fits. Like it's not it's not bulls enough for me. Okay. And then it's not like anything else either. Yeah, no. So it's just a really it always for me just. It didn't make any sense to me, hmm. especially as especially as an original colorway. Yeah, I wonder. Like, I'm gonna pull that up right now. I want to see Jordan in in Cardinal Seven. Yeah. See what that was like. Yeah, because I I feel like there had, there, probably, there had to have been, because I will say I, I, I will say it does feel a lot more solid though. You see, look, he just looks weird, even with these on. He, they just don't. <laughs> nothing about it looks like it makes sense no, with I, the rest of his uniform. I think it I think there was a specific um I'm pretty sure there was a specific reason why they did it. Do you think it was probably like uh structure wise? Damn, Cardinal Sevens are pretty dope. <laughs> I like the Cardinal Seven like yo, I told you like for me they're 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 close second just colorway wise. Like I understand that you know the build was a lot different but colorway wise I just I love that shoe. It's just weird bro. It's just it, Sorry if you guys can hear the guy cutting the grass. Not many, not many colorways and shoes throw me off like the Cardinal Sevens do. Yeah, I I wonder. Um, yeah, I want to look into that. I really want to look into that, like just material wise for that shoe. Um, but yeah, uh, where do where do okay. the Sevens? Okay, so it's a little tricky for me, man. Okay. At this point, okay. Um, but we're we're almost through one through ten and one through ten like two through nine is really like it's a it's a it's a little hazy. It's a lot. It, I think two through nine is where I have the most um, shake up. Okay. Uh, ten through twenty three, they're pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, with the exception of like uh, 11, 12, 13, 16, and seventeen. Okay. Uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, for the sixes, I mean the sevens. Hmm. So right now, what do I have open? I already have one, two, and three. I think I'm gonna leave them seven. Yeah, my seven. Yeah. Okay. Um, for me. Sevens, that probably was the one that I was waiting for when it comes to the four, if I was going to move the four. Mm -hmm. um, because it's not in my top three. Mm -hmm. um, it was not in my top five. But it's definitely in my top ten. Um, so I would probably move the four. See, and then this is where the shakeup has to kind of happen because I'm gonna have to rearrange. I'm gonna have to rearrange where I put four at because four is definitely not nine. Okay. But I'd I'd have to move it to nine. I actually so, you know what? No, 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 no. Okay. See, I'm gonna have to back up everything now. Okay. Uh, cause seven I would have at six. Okay. Um, and then right now you have the fours at six. Yeah. So I'd probably move the fours to eight, and then ones okay. to nine. And the one, to, damn, dude, the one is just taking. The one is kind of, you know, I was just going through. Mo we're going through moments here. The ones are de the ones are definitely shaping up to be your, your Chuck Taylors, bro. The 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 ones are, you know, they're getting bumped easily. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I think just based off of shoe for me and like my my memories of the shoes, like yeah, you know, they would have to kind of they're gonna get pushed. Um, yeah. Oh, and all because like the Olympic for like the for the love of the game, Olympic fours like the the for love of the game like style that they did with the the little uh gold Olympic sevens, uh, bro. I mean, uh, Olympic seven. Sorry, they uh they did the I had those too. The gold uh, heart on the back. Yeah, love that. 
that mm-hmm. t- to this day still was probably one of my favorite uh, retros. Retros for the seven of all. Um, yeah, I think I would sit it there. Yeah, seven at six. I think I'll okay. kind of sit there. Um, but um, your thoughts, uh, quickly, uh, your thoughts on the dream team. What did you think? Especially, uh, I, especially I, hearing everybody I did, talk about it. I did learn that that was the first time uh, NBA players were invited to an international game. Mm-hmm. Um, or maybe I've heard that before, but it, I, it wasn't something I retained. Mm-hmm. Um, it's interesting to hear how no one wanted to play with Isaiah Thomas without saying that they didn't want to play with Isaiah Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But it makes sense that everyone there really did have some sort of a um, scrappy beef with him, yeah. yeah. At yeah. some point or another, which blows my mind, man. Like it's just that the '80s era of basketball had so many of those players the same height. Yeah, you know, like now we we had we had you know. Um, LeBron, it's James Harden. Now. Yeah, there, there's definitely tiers here, but our top tier, I think, is nowhere like the 80s top tier. No. Like the 80s Not top tier close. of Isaiah, Magic, Bird, Jordan. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. But uh, the, they put it into perspective of how there was a passing of the torch, right, of mm-hmm. how Larry to Magic mm-hmm. and Magic to Michael. Yep. But then the, those three years of bad boys, I just I, I love hearing that little small segment of how they just disrupted that. Yeah, they they and, and like and it, and but you know that I think that's why I love the bad boys like Pistons so much. They almost dynasty in the middle of their dynasties. Yeah. That's the thing, bro. And I like and I I think that's why I've always had like a kind of like admiration for the Pistons in general because if you think about it, and you look at the Pistons, they have mm-hmm. those moments of just disruption. The bad yeah, they Pistons, do. and then you have the uh the the Chauncey Billup, uh Rip Hamilton. Seven year Eastern uh, Conference Pistons. Uh like all like Ben Watts, all like you have those Sean Prince, yeah. Rashid, like you have ben. all those uh mix ups of like actually no, it's our time. Like we're yeah, we're actually gonna we're actually gonna take this championship real quick. Yeah. And I think I, that's why I've always loved the Pistons, because that's always been like a secret team that I've always like rooted for to be good. Yeah. Um because I think that makes okay, because if you think about it, you guys just irritate laker fans and i love that like laker fans just because our all of our championships have been against them mm-hmm. and it's that's always it and it's always like there's always a well if the pistons weren't here we would have this many championships it's yeah. like, that's happened twice now three <laughs> like three had, times bro three, well like no like errors wise like it's happened oh yeah two twice yeah like, two different eras of detroit being the team that like, just yeah. like oh yeah the the Lakers are supposed to win it. Like they're supposed mm. to be getting. They're supposed to be just getting championships left and right. And then it's like, actually, hold on a second. And the Pistons come in and you know do their thing. And so I, I always love that. But I like you were saying. Like I think and I don't know if you were kind of hinted at this, but it also shows like the mentality of the basketball world compared to like the eighties and nineties compared to now. Mm-hmm. Where and even some of the two thousands because you had that a lot in the two thousand early two thousands as well where players just didn't like each other. Like, they could they could respect each other. Like, and you hear it in the documentary, like, all these players respect each other to a certain degree, but they also hate each other secretly. Like, they if they could do anything different backwards, they probably would undercut them on a layup or something like that if they had Oh, definitely. Chance. But... They I mean, a lot of them respect. did, because they yeah. could in the early <laughs> 90s, yeah. And so I think that they, like, they truly despise one another, but they also respect each other because... You have to be great and have to be tough to be able to get back up and say, "Yeah, you you guys beat us, but we're coming back and we're going we're going to whoop your ass next year." Or you we get into a fight on the sideline, it's like that off some off some BS, and then uh, we then we uh, we can I can get come back up and go right back at you again the very next play and still and probably beat you in that situation. Yeah. So I think for me, it's. Um, I liked that, like you said, I liked that segment of just them talking about Isaiah Thompson. I did, Isaiah Thompson was kind of just like, yeah, I know they, I know they didn't like me, but you know, I look back and I, I like, I know where I went wrong, but at the same time, hey, he, he, it's just uh, <laughs> tough. It's, just, it's funny to hear them like 
I don't even hearing him now trying to say that that's just how they played. Yeah. And how things unfolded. I'm like, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you did have that interaction with Kevin McHale and the Celtics. Mm-hmm. Um, but that doesn't mean that you should pay forward to the next person that way. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah it was, it was it's just, watch, that's where yeah. the famous meme for Michael Jordan look at the tablet. Yeah. Uh, is cause they asked, they asked Michael Jordan like, um, oh, cause he's talking about when, uh, after the, the Bulls finally beat the Pistons, the Pistons decide not to shake hands. And during, mm-hmm. while the game is still ending, they walk off the court and they have to walk yeah. uh, the way they walk right they by walk, right by walk them. right past them, their bench and everything. And they don't make eye contact, any of that. Yeah. And I love the, I always love that one moment where uh, Isaiah, when he's walking past Jordy, kind of you does can clearly smile. see him. Yeah. You like, clear- yeah. I love that. Yeah. And so, um, but uh, Jordan, they asked him, like, yo, so this is what Isaiah Thomas had to say about that. And Jordan, like, before he even wasn't started, having it, he was, yeah. like, he was like, I don't want to see him in hindsight talk about how he, he could have did things better. And then he kind of sees it and he's like, yeah, of course. He, yeah, that's now exactly he what he feels said. A certain way, you know, so, yeah, I, I think that was, um, I think that was great. Uh, but, yeah, that was, that was, that was a great era. And to have them, like, was well, minus Isaiah Thomas, but have all of them on Olympic team. That's they crazy. crushed it. That's crazy. I didn't oh I also didn't know that 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 was um what they played against uh Ku coach Ku coach Ku coach Ku coach I hate pronouncing his name. But yeah. I didn't know that that he was the guy to beat during that time. Yeah. I, I didn't know that either until some of my friends were telling me and it was uh it was like, Oh, you, you ain't seen his number? Like he was he, he was he was the dude. And dude, I, like, I went yeah, I went back to look that. at his numbers, like, dude, he was really that guy, I guess. Yeah. That's that's crazy. that's crazy how like that era had like the the people like Clyde Drexler's, the Hakeem's, all Hakeem. those Hakeem. Like, that's crazy. Uh, Charles Barkley, Charles Barkley, and people Shaquille, like, day, like people forget Shaquille like, and Horace Charles Grant Barkley was a beast. Like, yeah, you Dude, get he, the he got an MVP, off. Yeah. he got an MVP uh, trophy on Jordan. Yeah, he he's Charles Barkley was that dude. Yeah, and then Shaq, when Shaq could run full speed up and down the floor, like it was Shaq that was day. hella skinny back then. Yeah, the, well, Horace Grant, uh, Penny Hardaway. Yeah, Reggie they had a Miller. squad. Like all the all those like all those like you think about like the all times back then it's like crazy Jordan thing. Jordan really went through a lot of these players and, uh, and denied a lot of rings oh, yeah to Some, a lot of and, greats and a lot of them were in the Eastern Conference yeah a lot of them were in the Eastern Conference so you think about a lot it. of them were there so yeah that's that's crazy um but yeah so uh but we'll we'll get into our more breakdown later um let's move on to the Jordan eight and so. The Jordan Eight, I don't, I don't, I don't think had like a crazy impact on the documentary. It was the, uh, it's the shoe he wore for the last year of the first repeat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so that, the, that shoe was a shoe that he wore mostly through the whole season. Mm-hmm. Um, it's now known as a playoff eight, but he wore it through the regular season as well it was just some i don't know i don't know how that like got it's you know uh it's a moniker i guess i don't know nickname name for it you know because he worked a lot and so but the jordan 8 is you know i would say definitely a staple when you think about like you think of like the but it's a comfy it's a comfy shoe yeah i love that the aqua eights the aqua eights um uh, the playoff eights, um, the black, the black and chrome eights. Oh yeah, uh, those are great. Uh, DB DB eights. DB eights are um, a great shoe. Um, what else? What are what are the eights? Am I thinking? Of? There's a uh, tons of eights, there's a, there's man. There's a couple. There's a couple of eights. The ones I really like that I copped uh, a few years back were the uh, champagne. Mm, yeah. The champagne eights. Those, those, yeah. Yeah. Those are hot magma. Um the OVO eights I think are really trash. <laughs> My bad, sorry. Drake. I like how that sentence with the OVO eight, trash. <laughs> <laughs> the way that was shaping up just went way left. 
It's just, wow. We're naming all these fire ass colors. Yeah. Oh, that be always trash. Yeah. <laughs> People went crazy. Like uh, the uh, what was it? The um, those Kentucky OVOs. He also did. I, I like those. I really uh, like those. What else? Uh, there's a oh, man. There's there's a the Sequoia eights. They look like the uh, they look like olives. They look like undefeated eights. Oh yeah, yeah. Those, that was, those that's are dope. I was trying to remember the name for those. Yeah, those. I like those as well. I, I I've, I've always wanted those, and I they have like great prices for them. Surprisingly. Yeah, dude. It's I mean it's a it's a gr that went on sale. But I didn't like I didn't think that like they would like just sit like the way they did, and I didn't think that the prices wouldn't be that great. Like I thought they would be a lot more um, pricier than they are. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's why I've kind of like kept pushing it back on the back burner to get them. But I think mm-hmm. I need to pull the trigger at some point really soon. Some point you're just gonna have to buy a shoe, Chris. At one point, true. Right. We're gonna we're gonna have to true. see a pickup a pickup post on your on the gram. Yeah, yeah. I was, I've been I, I think because I, I you know what I've been getting I've been getting a lot of um like Nike trainers and stuff like that, and like uh, a lot of Vapor Max in your, in your dad guys, game. You know, yeah, I'm, I've been I've been slacking, but I, I wanna I wanna start. I gotta I gotta get back on my shit and let y'all know who really runs this shit. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Jordan A's thoughts, like just your personal thoughts. Um, growing well, Jordan A's were my first Jordan. Um, my sister gave it to me. Uh, she bought it, and then it was too tight for her, or something like that. So I rocked the fuck out of it. <laughs> I think this is what the fourth grade. Okay. In the fourth grade, um, I didn't. Initially, when I first owned them, I didn't really like how they had two straps. Mm. I didn't really know what to do there. Like using the straps and tying the shoe, I felt like it was just too tight. Yeah. Um, but as I got older, I, I rocked them differently. Uh, when I was young, I would strap them, but I wouldn't buckle it all the way. I would leave mm. the, the straps un- unstrapped. Yeah. So they look like little wings on the side. Yeah. I, I thought I was cool. <laughs> um, it looked fucking dumb. <laughs> uh, I did get burned on a fake pair of eights off E. Oh, did we lose Gabe? Did we lose him? Oh no! Oh no! I think we lost Gabe. <laughs> I'm back, but I don't know how clear I'll be. You're, you're, you're pretty good right now. Okay, so we got Gabe back. So we're gonna we're gonna run through these because so what we're gonna do? Because um, I think this will help. Because um, we have one more part to go after this, and I think that we'll to better figure this out. What we'll do is we're gonna add the last one into part three okay sound good with you so we're gonna put door nine in part three okay okay so you guys already already spilled the beans for y'all but either way uh we the show always goes on so uh quickly where do you uh rank jordan eights in your top one through 14 um i think i'm gonna leave it at eight okay uh let me double check if i have room to go up or if i would like to go up okay um because i got one two three hmm yeah i'll leave it at eight eight okay Mm -hmm. um i think for me i will have the jordan eight at ten um it is a, a great shoe for me. Um, it's in my top ten, but uh, yeah, I think I think ten for right now is a great spot for it. Yeah, um, eight. I like eights, um, but I don't like them more than anything that came before it. Yeah, there's a lot more that I like before eight than I that I would uh, I would put. What uh, what's your favorite colorway from eight? Aquas. Aquas. Yeah, same here. Without a doubt. No, it's not. Yeah, for me, Aquas is the best. It's not even close to the next one. Yeah, yeah, no, it really is my most favorite. Um, 
That's if just I had a beautiful it, colorway. If I had, it's really done really, really well, purple, blue, red. Um, and then with the yellow outline on the tongue, it's, it literally sets it off. Perfect. Uh, I think my second favorite might be the 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 white Bugs Bunny eights. Okay. Uh, I think for me it would be the playoff eights. Would be my I second. like playoffs. I don't like that they were a new book, so they're not I, really I suede. Yeah. So you kind of get like they just dirty differently, and I don't mm-hmm. like it. Yeah. Uh, uh, not a, oh, no. speaking of, I think the reason why I put seven, I moved seven was because my I saw I I lied. My favorite colorway from the seven, I don't mean to backtrack, is the citrus sevens. I always forget that the citrus sevens. The reason why I like the seven so much is because of the citrus sevens. Like that colorway is beautiful. I've never I had a, a pair, never found another pair again in my life that even met up to a good quality for me to buy which i still hate mm-hmm. and i hate that little laces have posted hers and they look perfect mm-hmm. so i hate her but uh, not a true hate but like i'm jealous I, mm-hmm. so yeah that was just a quick back thing I, that as we were talking i, re- I realized that citrus sevens were like citrus sevens did those come out with the cardinals uh, honestly, I don't remember. Or did they come out after? I honestly, I don't remember. I I was at my Christian church camp summer camp. The, I was coming back, or I was still there. When Y'all hear it this? Dropped. Y'all hear this? Christian it was, camp. It, it it was far from me. I'll, I'll let you know now. It was uh. Yeah, I was. Hoodlums. Yeah, I was doing more than reading the Bible. It was a bunch of hoodlums. Okay. <laughs> I believe I believe that. It was just a bunch All of hoodlums. Right. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I remember I asked my mom to give me that. And sure enough, that was the one time I went to that foot action and they were sitting on the shelf when I got there that Sunday. When I got back Sunday, they were still mm-hmm. there and I was surprised. It was on yeah, that, I don't, that church day player. Yeah, I don't I don't remember if they uh I don't know if they came out with the Cardinal Sevens at the same time. But yeah. <laughs> um so well so what we're gonna do is uh I put you put eights at eight, eights at ten for me. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna end it there, okay? Because what we're gonna do is so give you a little layout of part three. We are going to finish off our list mm-hmm. of shoes, mm-hmm. and then we are going to have a nice little discussion about the documentary, like just a nice okay. little quick little discussion. Um, our favorite takeaways, our favorite moments. Um, because I know that this has been a lot about the shoes and that was the purpose of this was to be more about the shoes, not the whole mm-hmm. documentary. Uh, but I do also want to give our background, our feedback on the documentary itself, especially coming from people that weren't um, aware of Jordan when Jordan was doing all the Jordan S things he does. Um, so just the, I learned a lot about Jordan and a lot about that air watching mm-hmm. this. Likewise. Um, and so I want us to take some time out uh part three to talk about it and go from there um but with that being said um we have come to the conclusion of part two part uh, deuce jordan uh jordan nine because uh i think it's i think actually is a great segue for start for two uh for uh it really is because because we're ending off on his first three p so we're going to we're moving touch on to, the second three P we're going to move, touch on to his, the, the intermission he took in his career and mm-hmm. the second three P the, the road to the third, the second three P in his career for, uh, for ring six. So I think that would be, I think this is a great lead. Uh, ending no, it really is. It's it, metaphorically. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, honestly, we're in retirement. We're going on retirement right now. There it is. Um, we'll, we'll be so back in two days. We'll be back and we will show you, uh, we will come back with part three. Uh, if you have not watched part one, please go back, watch part one, then watch part Get in there, two. yo. Uh, bloop, bloop. Part two. With a thumbs up. This one after you watch part one. And hit us with a thumbs up. Uh, please comment everything, Good all comment. your opinions on the shoes we talked about today. Uh, what's your favorite colorway? Uh, what are your rankings of the shoes so far that we've listed? Um, mm-hmm. And then uh, part three, we'll have a complete list, and we want you guys to complete list then. Um, Till then, please continue uh, <laughs> practicing social distance uh oh, social distancing um and 
I hope everybody's cool. Uh, yeah, man. Any any final thoughts that you want to lead off on? Um, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wish I wish I had uh, more of the actual shoes to have present yeah. in front of me. Mm. Um, Same. I'm a I'm a flawed sneakerhead, I guess. Are we all? But uh, but uh, it's dope, man. I enjoy this. Uh, and yeah, uh, yeah. Look definitely tell us how you think about this. Like, this is our first kind of like time doing this and there's plenty of documentaries that they're rumoring that are coming out so i'm pretty sure we're gonna end up doing this again for yeah for kobe or when lebron finally Pod, podcast on late on late podcast 20 years down the line yeah you know they're gonna do it about us so oh. <laughs> when they when they talk about lebron's career in the documentary they're gonna talk about us talking about different shoes and how sneaker culture was affected and they're going to show a clip of our podcast that'd be great listen here miami lebron totally 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 was the anchor for nike sportswear and once he and once he left miami nike sportswear went to shit and they have yet to recover or give it the attention it used to have Mm. That South Beach, the South Beach was South Beach. South Beach put him on the map, and then just kind of <sighs> cut him down. Mm. Man, those are some great shoes, but we're gonna talk know, about that. We'll talk yeah, about that yeah, in we'll the coming there. episode. But yeah, so um, again, I am your host, Chris. Uh, thank you, Gabe, for joining me, yes, and as tune always, in for part three. Uh, yes, sir. In a couple of days, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace. Hi.